and welcome to just one more watch. The Made in China t-shirt is back on today for one of my favourite videos of the year. It's another top 10 AliExpress roundup for the 1111 sale. Now judging by the number of you that have been messaging me, asking me, am I going to be making an 1111 video? There's a few of you who have been saving your pennies, ready to pick up the odd Chinese special during the sales. Now the AliExpress 1111 sales are the cheapest of all of the sales that they have all year round. So if you've been keeping your powder dry, waiting for the best bargains of the year, I've got some good news and some bad news for you. The bad news is it's only a 48 hour sale, but the good news is they are the sharpest prices that I have encountered over the last 12 months. Now, as always, I will leave links in the description of the video in the order that I show them to all 10 of these watches today. There might be a few bonuses in there as well. To be clear, I am an AliExpress affiliate. If you click on the link and buy something from Ali, they pay me a small commission, a small finder's fee, you do not pay anything extra for the product. Just so we're clear, thank you very much. Now, as such, what I've tried to do is I've left links to the places that I got these watches from. Ali, you're buying from China directly. It's gonna take a couple of weeks to arrive wherever you are in the world. And if you have to return something, if there's a problem, there is a returns process, but it's not as simple as going back to your local shop. So you may be able to find slightly cheaper prices elsewhere on Ali, go for it, be my guest. But the links I'll leave are to places that I can vouch for personally, places that I have bought watches from in the past. All right, what did I buy? This this time then, well, the first choice up is gonna shock you. Let's get on with it. You're gonna be shocked. I was shocked when I ordered Ask Me. As a long-term, hardcore, lifelong Casio fanboy, that was a line I never thought I would cross. I never understood the point of Skmees. Why would you pay $10 for a copy of a $20 watch? They just made no sense. This one, however, the full metal Skmee, makes an awful lot of sense. I've had a couple of looks at the full metal Casio. I looked at the silver one and the half metal blue one. Fantastic watches, gorgeous, great on wrist, but 400 US dollars, massively expensive, for not a lot of functionality, and it's a G-Shock that you don't really want to beat because they're so expensive. At $19.79 or $13.19 on sale, this XME I will happily beat to within an inch of its life without thinking twice about it. And I guess that is the point of these watches. So I just picked up this silver one. Looks like it's got some cracking LED backlighting in a contrasting yellow as well. There's a blingy looking gold, there's a rose gold, there's a blue, there's a black. All of them share a similar set of specifications, zinc alloy case and a stainless steel band and buckle. Digital modules are dirt cheap to manufacture. This one looks like it's got all the functionality pretty much of the regular Casio. The only weakness that I can see is 30 meters of water resistance. So you're probably not gonna be getting this one wet in the way that you could a regular G-Shock. But at $13.19, it's one of the cheapest watches I've ever featured on the channel. I have high hopes for my first and probably my last ever me. Moving on to watch number two, the Pagani Design Daytona Homage. I got this one from the Trendy Men's Watch Store because I am, of course, a trendy man. $62.99 during the 11.11 sales. And there are various other buy two, get 10% off. And I think they're chucking in a bonus leather strap with this one as well. Outrageous value. How do they do it? Well, I guess they do it by not spending a dollar on research and development or design. They just photocopy the Rolex catalog. If you're okay with that though, it offers a fantastic set of specs, including a Seiko VK63 Mecha Quartz chronograph movement, synthetic sapphire crystal, stainless steel bracelet with solid end links, screw end links, on the fly adjustment clasp, and a ceramic bezel insert, screw down pushers as well. Outrageous set of specs. Obviously being the cynical man that I am, I tested the sapphire crystal on mine. It passed with flying colors. It's genuine sapphire. These Seiko Mecha Quartz movements are fantastic. They will tick away super accurately for two to three years requiring minimal maintenance. I'm beginning to really appreciate having a couple of quartz watches in my watch box, in my collection. Stuff that you can just grab and go as they say. This one, gotta be one of the best value ones on the market at the moment. Not the only Pagani design on the list either.
Alternatively, if you still want a Mecha Quartz but can't handle the homage, cheapest price this one's ever been, $35.55 for another Pagani design. Again, featuring, I think this is the VK64 in this. I picked one up earlier on this year, it's still ticking away, no problems at all in my watch box. A little larger, this one at 42 mil with 22 mil lug width, and it's only got a domed mineral crystal, but if you're all right with that, 35 bucks. Bargain, bargain prices this time around on Ali. Okay, at number three from the Star King official store, the source of all the Star King watches that I've reviewed on the channel to date, it's a Star King. It's a new model, it's the AM0171, and there are various versions of it with a stainless steel bracelet, silver dial, silver stainless, and the gold one. And I think it's the gold one that you should be interested in the most if you are indeed interested. $52.43 on the 11.11 sale special. Now, I have reviewed a bunch of Star Kings on the channel in the past. They've offered fantastic value, nicely machined little cases, Dauphine hands, applied indices, sapphire crystal, etc. They have, however, all used their own proprietary 4 Hz 28,800 vibrations per hour automatic movement. And I always said I couldn't tell you how reliable that movement was going to be long term. Well, Star King, I think, have done something very sensible. They've switched out their own movement for for the ever reliable, ever faithful Miyota Japanese made 8215. This one hand winds, it doesn't hack, but really, you're not gonna notice, you're also barely gonna notice the reduction in frequency. I think a good choice, it makes the Star King much more of a known quantity, which is why it's on my recommendations list on AliExpress for the first time, especially in gold. I think the gold one with a gilt movement is a nice touch. If you have got darker skin tones or you just fancy a little bit of gold, there really isn't all that much available in gold at this price with these specs. $52.43, welcome back to the fold, Star King. At number four on today's top 10 list, from the LGY watch store, where I've got two of my San Martins in the past, it's the first bit of bronze on the channel on the AliExpress. $252. Now, I think that is a great price for the set of specs available. There aren't an awful lot of bronze watches for less than $300, US certainly not featuring domed sapphire crystal, a decent bunch of loom, Seiko NH35 hacking and hand winding auto, and a fantastic tropic strap. Now they refer to this one as a 62 mass. If you've seen my other reviews of the previous San Martin, it's not, it's an SLA 017 homage. What that means, it's a larger size, it's 40 mil in diameter, and it wears very nicely indeed as a consequence. Nice screw down case back with a shark logo on there, some great detailing on the crown as well. I've got one of these in for review. I will try and review it over the next couple of days. If not, it will be the next couple of weeks. Very nice indeed. Bit of bargain bronze for you, $252 today. There are a bunch of options available as well. There's a green dial, which is the one I opted for, blue dials, black dials, gunmetal dials, etc. You can also get it with applied logo or with no applied logo. That's the one I went for. I would highly recommend that Tropic Strap as well. Very, very good for the price. There's even a choice of different bronze buckles for your 250 bucks. Or as the bonus here, if you really don't like the bronze but you like the look, here is the regular San Martin SLA 017 homage that I bought earlier on this year. 244 US dollars, again from the Luguo San Martin watch store. This would be my preference here because it does have the sapphire crystal and the fully loon ceramic bezel insert. You may be able to find the mineral domed ones cheaper elsewhere on AliExpress. However, I would say spend the extra and get the sapphire. 244, that's much cheaper than I paid for it. At number five, and again from the Pagani Design official store, it's the watch that almost ended this channel. It's their Submariner homage. A ridiculous deal at $75, an even more ridiculous deal at $67.49. Again, you may be able to find it slightly cheaper, but I got mine from the Pagani Design official store and it arrived in good time and in good shape. A bunch of different colorways available here, plain black, there's a Hulk, there's a blue one, there's a two-tone bluesy and a two-tone black black and gold, which I must say looks pretty good. The specs on this watch are absolutely outrageous. Again, being the cynical man that I am, I tested it. It is indeed sapphire crystal. There's a Seiko NH35 in the back, screw down crown, 100 meters of water resistance, ceramic bezel insert, solid end link bracelet with screw links, and on the fly adjustment from a rip off glide lock style clasp. 
67.59, I may as well hang up my boots and go and review cars or something else because this is arguably the best value watch that I have ever seen on the channel. The only downsides are it's 43 mil in diameter, so it is not gonna suit guys with smaller wrists. It is a big watch, big lug to lug as well, so do bear that in mind. This is an update on the Miyota model, which was in itself outstanding value for money. That is an outrageous deal at 74.99 even more ridiculous at 67.50. So the bonus here is the L'Oreal. If you are a guy with a slightly smaller wrist, I bought this one from the WYQ watch store, then I recommend the L'Oreal. This one is a more traditional Rolex Submariner homage at 40 mil, about $10 less than the Pagani. Not quite the same spec beast, unfortunately. It's only an aluminum bezel insert. It does have 200 meters of water resistance, a screw down crown and sapphire crystal, and that is a Seagull ST16 movement in the back of it. I do like mine though, I bought one of these Hulk ones. Fairly decent variation in the colorways. You can get a Kermit, there's a kind of Coke bezel one, there's a blue one, there's black and blue. There are a whole bunch of these. So if you just feel that the 43 mil Pagani is too big for you, but you still want a budget diver, 58 bucks, highly recommended on the L'Oreal. At number six from the Cadison official store, the first of three Cadisons on the list today. Very much a brand that I have come to know and respect over the last couple of years. Some well-priced but well-made watches. This is a brand new model of theirs. I thought I may as well pick it up for $63.42. The looks, hmm, let's see how it looks when it arrives. There's a lot going on here. I'll be interested to see if it can pull it off in the flesh. But great specs again, stainless steel case, sapphire crystal, and a really interesting movement. That is a Miyota 82S7, and it offers a bunch of complications that you don't normally see in watches around the price, including a small second indicator at the 430, an open heart down there at the seven, and a 24 hour indicator at the three. So an interesting looking watch, this one. As I said, I'll be interested to see how it looks when it arrives to me in Sydney, 42 mil in diameter, Italian leather strap apparently as well. $63, I thought it was well worth a punt. Next up is the next San Martin from the San Martin official store. Clearly a brand that I have come to a bit late in the day, but I'm very impressed with what I've seen from them so far. No prizes for guessing, this one is clearly a Marine Master homage, it even says so on the dial. But unlike the Seiko, it'll cost you no more than $300 during the sale, and I think you get a chunk of watch for your money. Again, very nicely machined, very nice details. That shark on the case back again. Great bracelet, great clasp, heaps of micro adjust there, and my eyes, my eyes, the loom, the loom, the loom with that ceramic bezel insert is absolutely outrageous. I've said it on a number of different occasions. If a manufacturer is cutting corners, one of the first things to go is the loom. Conversely, if you see a watch with loom like this, the chances are the rest of it is gonna be very nicely made as well. And that is very much the case with this one. Regular price is around 320 to 326. I think that is a decent 10% plus saving. Well worth your consideration during the sale period. Next up is the original Chinese special. It is the Seagull 1963, a watch that I bought and then sold and I will undoubtedly buy again. I included the sapphire crystal version in the last AliExpress sale video. This one, I must say, I have no experience of the Shenzhen CXH trading store, but it gets good reviews in the comment section down below. And that is a great price for this one. This is the original 38 millimeter acrylic for $171, featuring the display case back which is an optional extra in a lot of different places as well. It is a gorgeous looking little watch, manual wind chronograph. How many manual wind mechanical chronographs are there on the market for less than 200 US dollars featuring a beautiful decorated little Seagull ST1901 in the back of it. Applied indices, blued hands, lovely little logo there under the 12. It is such a sweet watch on wrist. A credit crystal means you're gonna have to be a little bit more cautious with it and invest on a $5 tub of poly watch, but I think it's well worth it. Very, very sweet watch to wear. Again, from the Cadison official store, it's a watch that pretty much gets automatic entry into these AliExpress roundups. It is the C1032 by Cadison, another watch that I highly, highly rate. If you're looking for a simple 40 millimeter watch to wear to the office Monday to Friday and you don't want to break the bank, this one should be towards the top of your list. Sapphire Crystal Seiko NH36, hacking and hand winding, day-day automatic movement in the back of it. Press on case pack with 50 meters of water resistance, solid end 
design links as you can see there. Applied indices, Dauphine hands, it's a very, very pretty looking watch and a bit of a strap monster. Only word of caution, it is high polished throughout, it will attract scratches, but if you take it off the bracelet and put it on a leather strap, that obviously ceases to become an issue at $48.78, a real bargain. Talking of bargains, the Cadison Diamond is another pretty much automatic entry to this list, especially on the sale price, $104.99. That one features a Miota 9015 in the back of it. To put that in context, the Cadison official store also sells the movement on its own for $89.99. So for an extra $15, you're getting the rest of the watch. Again, a bit of gold, a bit of rose gold, or the one that I had, this parchment dialed one with the blue hand, very pretty. It's a piece of domed sapphire crystal. It's a very wearable strap. The whole watch is very wearable at 40 millimeters. And that, my friends, is a tiny crumb of diamond, or most likely cubic zirconia, on the index at 12 o'clock. A very attractive little watch high beat Japanese auto for just over a hundred and last but by no means least from the Corgio official store again a place that I bought from before if you don't want a Daytona homage how's about that kind of looks like an Omega Speedmaster to me doesn't it this one also features the Seiko Mecha Quartz movement for $56.70 butterfly clasp here rather than a traditional clasp and you're not getting domed sapphire crystal that is a domed mineral crystal but if it's anything like the real Speedmaster it will also be an absolute strap monster with those 20 mil lug widths even if you want to try the look of a speedy without fully investing your three or four thousand dollars in one this is a great place to start $56 $6.70. So there you have it, another top 10 AliExpress bargain roundup video for 11.11. Some of those prices are as sharp as I have ever seen them. The L'Oreal at 55, that Pagani Mecha Quartz Chrono at 35 bucks. How do they manage to do it for those prices? The SKME for $13.19, the cheapest watch that I've ever featured on one of these videos. Surely one of the cheapest that I've ever reviewed on the channel when I do indeed review that one in a few weeks time. First bit of bronze from Ali as well in the form of that San Martin SLA 017 homage. I reckon that is a cracking watch all round if you want a bit of budget bronze in your collection. So happy hunting, don't forget, it's only a 48 hour sale, so you can't hang around for a week with these ones. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon.